Last week, we brought you the story of Google introducing a new system to alert users to state-sponsored attacks on their email accounts. Well, today is Monday, June 11, 2012, and I woke up and checked my inbox to find a new message from Google. Surprise, surprise, at the very top of my email inbox, there was a special pink bar. Normally the Google alerts are in yellow. This one was a special pink one just to stand out. Warning! We believe state-sponsored attackers may be attempting to compromise your account or computer. I love this. It's not just a government, the government. State-sponsored attackers. I just love this. Google unabashedly demonizing government, appropriately demonizing government to say that the people looking into your email account on behalf of the government aren't just benevolent do-gooders trying to see if you're going to attack somebody, trying to see if Adam versus the man is a terrorist organization. No, these are state-sponsored attackers of your privacy. And... There was a little link at the end of it said protect yourself now which redirected to a page your account could be at risk of state sponsored attacks about the security threat. If you were directed to this page from a warning displayed above your Gmail inbox we believe that state sponsored attackers may be attempting to compromise your account or computer. It's likely that you received emails containing malicious attachments, links to malicious software downloads, or links to fake websites that are designed to steal your passwords or other information. For example, attackers have often been known to send PDF files, office documents, or RAR files with malicious contents. We strongly recommend that you avoid clicking links or attachments in suspic suspicious messages. Well, I didn't get any suspicious messages from the government, so I don't think that's exactly the case. But was someone spying on my email account on behalf of the U.S. government or some other government? Who knows? It's important to note that Google's internal systems are not compromised and that this message does not refer to one specific campaign. We routinely receive abuse reports from users as well as from our internal systems that monitor for suspicion, suspicious login attempts and other activity. To help defend the integrity of these systems, we aren't sharing more details about these attacks. However, after careful studying the abuse reports, we decided to show you the message in Gmail to help warn and protect you from potential attacks. And then there's what you can do. And there's the sort of boilerplate advice, don't click unfamiliar links and attachments, be careful with uh, downloads, yada, 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 use up-to-date software, enable two-step verification in Gmail, which I've already done. The warning above your Gmail inbox will remain for a while to help remind you to take the recommended steps above. The alert will disappear after that time, but we encourage you to take action as soon as you can. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to take action. I'm going to call for the abolition of the federal government. That's my action. But I love this. This is an incredible amount of honesty and transparency from Google calling out government, basically. And it's not that they're doing anything uh, really above and beyond. But I think what this really represents is a subtle subversion by Google. And I... I don't know if, I, 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 I want to stand up and applaud and say thank you, Google, but the message is ultimately government is spying on you and there's nothing you can do about it.